Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be discussing a cool thing on how to change the colors and don't starve together. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV. I do little twi uh, tips and tricks videos on YouTube for you. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about that. Once again, I stream every single day. So if you're looking to play Don't Starve Together with anybody, um, I'm always welcome to have anybody join up with us, uh, depending on like what time of day that we're playing, of course. Um, but I stream every day early in the afternoon and, of course, at night as well. So have you ever asked yourself, man, I really wish that the colors were a little bit different in this game, a little bit more eye pleasing, potentially uh, things that could, you know, make it not look so um, so bright, especially during winter. Well, this is how you would go about doing so. So I've told you guys about this mod on my mods video, but it's called seasonal color cubes. Basically, it's created by Kynux. Uh, Kynux is known to make lo lots of different mods, especially if you guys have ever uh, tried using them with the one mod uh, known as the Architect Pack, which basically contains everything in Don't Starve Together, which we're going to showcase this mod another day. Basically, what you can do is you can make it choose between shipwreck colors, handler colors, forge, gorge, or their own special edition. I have mine set as shipwrecked. Of course, you can make it set to hamlet. The reason why I don't like the Hamlet color cubes is because there's a deep, deep red that shows up. And for me, I don't really like that. And that's basically to mimic the Porkalypse. So to showcase what it looks like, we go into a world here. Let's just choose some random one. Here, I'll just choose this one here. I believe that I'm alive in this world. Make sure that your mod is obviously selected on your client mod and go into the world. Now, not everybody wants this to be a thing. For example, if you're okay with how the world looks regularly and don't start together, that's entirely up to you. But think of it as if you're putting a filter in front of what you normally see. So for me, when I have a world where I'm playing winter and it's just super, super, super bright and I'm seeing a ton of snow and then it transitions over to spring, my eyes really don't like that. And so I actually found that even during summertime when I'm walking around uh, where the beefalo are, my eyes don't like that either, how bright it is. So with this color cube, you'll notice that it's a lot less kind of um, less bright and and it's more of like toned down. And this is the shipwreck color cubes, which I love. Like I love, love, love this. So of course, if you go into winter, it's going to look a little bit uh, different and you look into spring and summer, but yeah, that's how it is. And I really like this mod a lot. I think it honestly deserves a lot of uh, praise because a lot of us, you know, take it for granted that, um, you know, when you're when you're kind of going, like I said, into winter, into spring, and you're looking, you're like, you know, this is kind of what I have to just put up with. You don't have to. Like, this this mod will make it so it's easier on your eyes. And, I mean, I spend a lot of time in front of the computer. So anything to help my, uh, you know, me not squint when I'm looking at the screen is, is, basically, uh, is basically there to help me. So I really like this mod a lot. Give it a try. Obviously, it's, if it's not for you, you can change between uh, the Hamlet setting, the Shipwreck setting, uh, the Forge or the Gorge settings. But, of course, I like the shipwreck settings. So this is a video given out to people that are looking to use this mod. I've had a lot of people ask me, why does your don't start together look different than mine? I have no idea. I've looked through the settings. Well, it's a mod. Okay. So hope you enjoyed this video. Check it out. Once again, my name is all fun and games on Twitch TV. Um, and I stream every single day. If you want to join the discord, feel free to, but I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.